Welcome back everybody! As a pilot and former air traffic controller, I'm always interested in a good challenge in my flying games. Plus, I've really enjoyed April Fool's events in games like War Thunder and Enlisted. Well by golly, Microsoft Flight Simulator released the House Atreides Ornithopter and some missions from the Dune universe to coincide with the release of the movie Dune 2. Sure, it's a little early for an April Fool's event, but I'm on board. This thing is basically a small jet with VTOL and hovering capabilities. All right, what are we getting into here? The Ornithopter is the most unique method of airborne travel throughout the Imperium. Often referred to by its nickname, the Thopter is a highly adaptable dragonfly-like aircraft capable of performing a range of maneuvers in many different environments. The Ornithopter's design mixes the speed of fixed-wing aircraft with the hover and vertical takeoff and landing benefits of a helicopter, making it ideal to transport people or cargo go across hostile terrain. Oh man, I hope there are giant worms. I hope this has the giant worms like the War Thunder Dunes of Arrakis event. If necessary, the aircraft can expend extra power for a brief speed boost or halt the flapping mechanic of the wings to enter glide mode. 800 knots max, 300 knot cruise, 31,000 foot max altitude. All right, empty weight and max weight with a 500 gallon fuel capacity. Hmm. I guess I figured this thing would run on dust, but maybe not. I don't know, I'll have to go back and check the lore. Let me know in the comments if you know off the top of your head. Length 101, 101 feet and 170 foot wingspan, okay. All right, let's see what sort of activities we've got. I should say, I haven't played Microsoft Flight Simulator for quite a while, but maybe I'll go back and do some of these other challenges. Reno, Top Gun, that sort of thing. Let me know if you're into that. Now, Dune activities. Celebrate the release of Dune Part 2 with an assortment of ornithopter activities. Now, I went ahead and already did the tutorial, and I did one of the challenges just to make sure that the uh, thing would load appropriately. We've got touch and go challenges and then a rescue mission. All right, desert run. For this first challenge, you will be facing the scorching desert of Arrakis's Minor Erg, a vast sea of dunes south of the Imperial Basin. The large environment, and small terrain variations offer an opportunity to get acquainted with the ornithopter's capabilities. Practice your touch and go maneuvers to complete the challenge as fast as possible. Seven seconds? We got some hackers up in here. 30 seconds? 140, 128? Okay, that's the world top 10. All right. Okay, for this first one, I've already flown it, so I'm just gonna use this to show you the aircraft a little bit. There it is. Okay, now, I've already done this, you can ignore that. So, here's what we've got. It's got flying wing sort of things. It's got an afterburner, actually. Boop. Love to see it. We can deploy the landing gear. Yes, definitely not overly complicated at all. And then we do have the ability to hover. Basically like an air brake sort of situation. And then we also have the ability to just make ourselves fall. This is like dive mode. You notice our vertical descent rate. <laughs> that is a key game mechanic of this thing. So I'm not even gonna waste time with this one. You know, I already flew this, like, I flew this through the Eiffel Tower once already. Um, by doing, uh, just one of these, Boop. and then we're going right through the middle of it. But the replay, the replay tool in Microsoft Flight Simulator continues to be hilarious. I'll just add that footage in here. There will not be a short about it or anything, but maybe I'll do it over on a live stream at some point. I don't know. Okay, race to Arakeen, Imperial Basin. Flying through this challenging terrain presents a great opportunity to improve your piloting skills by practicing successive turns. Oh gosh, 26 seconds again? Most people, most good people are around two minutes, oof. I, don't, I haven't done this one yet at all, so I don't know what this ghost thing would be. All right. We're already rolling, okay. Now the problem with this you'll soon be able to observe the city of Arakeen and the shield wall surrounding it. Okay. The problem with this is I can't do like a replay that's just in third person view. So I'm gonna be flying in first person view. Got our throttle there. 
on the uh, right handle. Beep. There we go. Afterburner. Landing pad one way down there. Okay, you know what? That's a great opportunity for us just to dive on in. But it's kind of cool to think about like what other, you know, sci-fi stuff could they build in here. I think some okay. aircraft from Halo was in here for quite a while. I mean, basically anybody can build an aircraft and upload it to the marketplace, but like having, you know, official Dune content in the game is pretty cool. Oh uh, gosh. Keep going and remember your training. I'm not gonna remember anything about my training. I don't even know what you're talking about. Who even is this? Oh uh, gosh. Alright. We still got more afterburner. I just don't want to run out of it. You have like a very limited amount of afterburner. We're already down to 44% of available afterburner here. Never flown this, I don't even know how far we can go. Well, I get the impression we might be able to do a drop right here, though. There we go. Good. Gear down. Drop. Overshot it. We, we way overshot it. Coming back, coming back. Can we beat the ghost? It's like a, a ghost was like two minutes and 30 seconds or something. Oof. You're almost there. Final? All right. Afterburner. Gotta get higher in this thing. All right, 36. 36% 36 afterburner. We can use that. That's the last one right there. Should have been using more afterburner. 27, yeah, I should have. All right, well, you know what? Now we know. Gear out, descend mode. Yeah. Misjudged it. I did the gear too late. There we go. Oof. That was a solid attempt. <laughs> practice with the wing brake will dramatically improve your accuracy. Nope, I'm not doing it. That was that was a rough landing there. Those little wheel, those those little feet, they could not have handled that. All right, 2 minutes and 45 seconds on my first try. Where are we at? 5700-ish. Not bad, not bad. What's next? Mountain dive. Bite of the cliff. This race begins atop the shield wall, the massive plateau that encloses the cities of Arrakis and protects them from Coriolis storms. You'll learn the dive maneuver, an essential skill for pilots on Arrakis, along the steep terrain and tremendous altitude variations of the shield wall. By trading altitude for speed, you'll push the ornithopter to its optimum performance. Three seconds? Three seconds? I don't, uh, I don't think so. All right, 209 for the ghost. We can, we can, it's gonna be under two minutes right here. We can do this. All right, we're flying. There's a land. Drop down along the cliff and reach the Great Flat, a vast sea of dunes covering most of Arrakis. 34% afterburner already. This would be, it's kind of cool to think about like what other, you know, like, in-game worlds and whatnot, these things could have in them. Ah, overshot, overshot. Get back there, get back there. Afterburner. Break, that's what, that's what I've got to do. Oh gosh. Go. Something tells me we are not going to catch the goat. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Ooh. Cleared it. Oh, boy. Too used to my Huey, you know. Not even gonna put it anywhere near the middle. We're on there. Do 
up. We can catch the ghost. That ghost was like a 209 pace. We can win this. Not too sure if we can at this point, honestly. That's all right. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Anybody? Anybody? Gain. We gained so much altitude right there. No! No, just fall. Fall. All right. This was embarrassing. Fall. Oh, come on. That was ridiculous. You can't just undeploy your wings. I was at least 30 feet off the ground. Huey could have handled it. Just saying that the ornithopter is, uh, you know, maybe not so great. I think I might have forgotten to put my. A solid yep, I did not put. More practice with the wing brake will dramatically improve your I did not put the uh, the little feet down on that one. You know what? See again. Two thirty eight, including a crash. How'd we do? <laughs> ah, all right. You know what? That was not a good one. We're trying this one again. Gear down. You don't gain altitude with this when you apply the brakes like you do in a helicopter. At least, like you normally would in a helicopter. Stay focused. It's not over yet. Allegedly not over yet. I think that's been my problem. I hadn't learned that yet. Ooh, wings in, we're falling. So I don't need to, yeah, yeah, that's, that's one of the things. You can just fly this to what you're looking at, and you don't need to worry about that extra lift. Keep going. Seeing those big that rescue vehicles, like, floating around in the background, whoa. We got afterburners and no wings right now, yep. Those big, uh, balloon things, I think they were, like, the rescue vehicles for the miners, or they were... How they deployed the mining vessels. It's pretty cool. I gotta say, I really liked the movie. Dune 1. Boom. That was a good attempt. I'm I'm on there. I'm on there. B. All right. How'd we do? 800. All right. There we go. Right up next, hole in the rock. Yeah, I did this through the Eiffel Tower once before. Too bad the replay stuff is still hilarious. Strike a balance between slower maneuvering speeds and afterburner powered sprints to complete it as quickly as possible. One minute six is the cheaty time. Oof. All right, 122. Might be in with a shot here. Yeah, I gotta say, I really liked the Dune Part 1 movie. That, that was At the end of the canyon really good. Hole in the rock, a distinctive rock formation revered by the Fremen. Okay. say that I'm using the old Logitech Extreme 3D Pro here. I'm not messing around with the uh, Thrustmaster Warthog. One landing pad down, two more to go. We can keep using the little droppy thing. Where is it? Oh, did I lose it? Where am I going? I missed it. What happened? I, d I don't, uh... No, we're gonna try this one again. Along the false wall east lies a sinuous canyon which offers very little space to maneuver. Be careful with your afterburner there. A sinuous canyon. Good word. Okay, now where am I supposed to go? Up there. What? Just stay low? That's what it is? Okay, stay low. Got it. 
believe me, if there's something that I like to do, it's to stay low. Can't see in front of me. Incredibly dangerous aviating right here. That's what you have to do to get through the Eiffel Tower. But of course, you can't see it on their replay. You know what would help sell this game? A good replay tool. But, you know, the developers don't want to incorporate that. Oh yeah, there's one of those big, uh, mining things right there. Harvesting trucks or something? I can't remember what they call them. Did not deploy the gear there, I don't think. Nope, gear was still in. You know what that is? That That's an oopsie. Checkpoint over here. All right, we gotta fly through this. Do we have any afterburner? Oh yeah, we still got plenty of afterburner. I got afterburner for days. Wings in. It's kind of cool to think about what other like in-universe, you know, flying aircraft they could, you know, make worlds for. That's what I do enjoy about this, you know, it, it's a game. It's not a simulator, it's a game. It is an avionics simulator, but it is a flying game. You made a couple of mistakes today, but keep practicing and you'll reach your full potential. I made a couple of mistakes today. Thank you for your input, sir. See? Are you serious? 1,328 shenanigans. Canyon Rush, Red Chasm. Ooh, nighttime. The Red Chasm is one of the fiercest environments on Arrakis and serves as the ultimate flight challenge for ornithopter pilots. Located just outside the shield wall, it's known for its narrow canyons and multiple caverns. This race is extremely technical due to its numerous sharp turns and constricted slot canyons. Remain focused and manage your speed with precision. 109, ugh, goodness, I haven't done this yet this year. Yeah, all right, so two minutes and the ghost is three minutes, ugh, all right. We have lights. Navigating inside the red chasm's narrow caves is the ultimate challenge for any ornithopter pilot. Oh, is it? Pay special attention to your speed here. Afterburners. Got it. Gear. Just got to kind of aim down for it. Aim for it. Broken one of the little nose wheely things. I don't even see where I'm supposed to go yet. Was somebody supposed to give me some direction? Because I'm lucky that I don't mind flying sideways. Goodness gracious. I also have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Are we going up? We're going up. Only to get disqualified. Yep, going back down. Got it. You're down. Come on. Come on. We got fully turned around on that. Get down there. This thing likes flying. Whew. Afterburner. We going up? No, we're going we're going sideways. I crashed. Excuse me? That's news to me. Must have caught our wing on something in here. I must have caught our wing on something. Hitting. Must have been a stalactite? Might? I don't know. We do 
do have a long wingspan in this. That could be doing us in. Ooh, all right. You know what? That one. That one I agree with. We are af out of afterburner. All right. Boof, boy. You made a couple of mistakes today. Oh, did I? But keep practicing and you'll reach your You know what? We'll go ahead and put our wheels <laughs> We're good. I made a couple mistakes, you don't say, huh? The plane was not sitting on its feet on that on the pad there at the end. <laughs> Fine. Ah, uh, 2050. Gosh. Three minutes, eight seconds. Bleh. Might have to retry that one, but let's see. What is this? Cor Coriolis Storm Escape. During a recon flight with your instructor, Owen, an engine malfunction forces him to perform an emergency landing in the desert. Fly to his rescue as fast as possible before he gets caught by the approaching Coriolis Storm. Or eaten. What if he gets eaten? I, I was hoping that maybe it would be like, you know, rescue the crew of the uh, dust harvester. Oh well. Guessing that's up here. Not even sure how to do like a map on this thing. Oh yeah. Well, I see white smoke. We are full afterburner right now. Oh boy. Yeah, that looks that looks like something. Gear down so we don't forget this time. Go ahead and look at the wreck while we, uh... Come on, boy. Coming? Or they're modeling people now. We good? You in? Good to go? No problem. Let's move. The storm is closing in on us. Ooh, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> we are in the canyon. We got long wings, though. It's getting too close. Faster, faster. I think I'm out of afterburner again. No, we're not quite out of it yet. I mean, we got two people on board, so we're a little overweight at the moment. Can't see where I'm supposed to go. Move, move. Hey. We gotta follow our checklists, okay? Can't get checklist fatigue just because we're in a hurry, okay? That's, that's, that's dangerous. Afterburner, where we're going. Okay. Boy, all these rocks look the same. Over there. Head to the station. It's our only chance. You want me to land? All right, man. We crashed inside the sandstorm, so we just we were too slow, I guess. Hmm. All right. Well, try and get closer to him this time. Where is it? Probably one of my huge blind spots. There it is. You take your time. You take your time with that dainty run. I'm in. Over there. Head to the station. It's our only chance. This is gonna be tight. 
Oh! <laughs> I had brought the wings in to just try and coast it in there. It did, it did not work. Did not work. All right, we are gonna land closer this time. By golly! Land in the wreck, man. I don't even care. A little bit closer. Still not great. Once I see you in the cockpit, we're going. No! <laughs> Dang it! Gear down. Land is close Still to the after burning. Every second counts. Should be closer for you. Come on. You're down. This is gonna be tight. Get down there, get down there, get down there, get down there, get down there. Descend. <laughs> oh gosh. No. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> Golly. Man, getting this thing to descend without just, I mean, maybe I just need to click it into, maybe I need to just pull the wings back as we get close, you know? Wasn't this guy like my instructor or something and he's the one who crashed? Hey, maybe if you wouldn't have crashed. I have trouble taking instruction from somebody who can't even fly their aircraft, you know? Call me crazy. Get in. See, but we fly in here, we go over here, and then we come back out over here and we land like over there. Whole thing is ridiculous. I'm in. Our best chance. All right. Yeah, I've, just, I've decided. I've decided that we should take our time. We should enjoy the sand. Become one with the sand. With the giant worm. What was the name of the famous giant worm? That they all worship? We should really get to know him. Seems like a good dude. All right. Think we can just land on him? Just straight up squish him? Get in. It's about as close as I can get to you and still be safe, okay? I'm in. Vaguely, vaguely safe. I should say, like, if you notice any, like, graininess and whatnot on the, like, on the screen or with the rocks and whatnot, like, my computer stats are in the description. I get, like, 112 frames per second on average with Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I run a lot of settings at Ultra, and it still just does not look good sometimes. It's one of the reasons I haven't played it so much for the channel. But that's okay. We got the old Logitech Extreme 3D Pro reconnected here. Maybe I'll do some more. Now that I don't have to worry about, you know, all the button mappings and recalibrating and everything with uh, the Thrustmaster. Oh boy, that really became... It, it is daunting. Just, just period. It still is. Get there. Any after? Nope, we are out of afterburn. This is gonna be tight. Get there. No! no. <laughs> Gosh dang it!
Okay, well, obviously it's impossible. If you managed to do that, definitely let me know how it was that you were hacking. Seriously though, I think this was great. Like having an additional mission pack where you could go out and like save crews of the harvesting vehicles or go like monitor sandworm activity or something, that would be incredible. If you've been playing this, let me know how you did against my times. And if you have any other ideas for vehicles or mission packs from movies that Microsoft and Asobo Studios need to get in the game. If you enjoyed this, be sure to tell me about it in the comments. Many thanks to the patrons and Twitch subscribers. Their support really helps. Stay tuned for more Microsoft Flight Simulator in the future. Thanks for watching.